Right, I'm going live again, and this one's going to be way shorter than last night, and hopefully a bit more interesting. Basically, I've done all the stuff on the podcast, I've done all the edits, um, you can see everything's all chopped up, that was what I did yesterday, and then they left like the production stuff for tonight. So, tonight, um, I've actually done most of it already, I was just going to quickly walk through it. All I've done is, um, in Reaper, this is the interview, and on the effects side of things... I've got this, and I'll wave to Katie, why not, as you're here. Um, yeah, I've got this thing called Neutron, which is awesome. And basically what I've done is, it's got a stupid amount of presets. And as we're doing a podcast, I went to this one, went to Dialogue, and there's one called Podcaster, which is awesome, which is perfect. So if we go in order on these things, let me close that a bit. The first thing it does is adds an equalizer. Now the tricky thing about this particular podcast that I'm editing is that it's all done on one track. Um, and that means you've got the interviewer and the interviewee all in one single track. So you've got these two completely different microphones. And that makes it pretty difficult to like EQ and do all that kind of stuff. So what I worked out is um, I wanted to get rid of the low end because the low end just was horrible. Um, there was so much of it, it was making everything really, really muddy. And when I got rid of it on on the um, person being interviewed, then it sounded lovely. And it, everything sort of cleared up, and it sounded really cool. Um, but when I got rid of it on, on Pete, when he's talking, then it made his voice sound really sort of thin. And that wasn't ideal. So I've had to find a balance in between. And what I've ended up with is getting rid of the low end here, and then this was the main problem area of the of the guy being interviewed. So I've pulled that down a little bit now. And then these bits just sort of clear up the mix a little bit more. So let me play that very quickly. I don't know how we'll be able to hear it through here, but... The door tunes. Obviously, this is a photo show. So this is where we invite people onto the show to chat with us. But you can kind of see everything that's going on here. You can see a drag down the low end. Nothing happening down here now, which is cool. And then if we go to his bit over here, you'll see his one is quite a bit deeper. And I just uh, finished working with the soundtrack and audio design for Fear. So there's still too much here, but again, because it's all on one track, I couldn't pull this bit down too much because then it makes Pete's one sound just horrible and tinny. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to pull it down a little bit more because I think it still sounds a bit... Let's widen it out a tiny bit as well. Right. And I just uh, finished working with the soundtrack and the audio design for Fear, which just released a few weeks ago. Mm. So there you go, that's the EQ pretty much done on that, trying to find a balance between the two. Um, the next thing, and this is why I like Neutron, because it sort of goes in line, so you do the equaliser first, then it's got a transient shaper. And I had to go and actually research what on earth a transient shaper does. And all it does is it takes the beginning bit of a, of a sound, um, let's find an example. So like, let's do into this bit, right here. So this very beginning bit of the sound here, That'll be the transient, and then this is like the rest of the sound. And what a transient shaper does is it takes that very beginning bit and it does something to it. Um, and that something could be making it louder, making it quieter, whatever you want. So what we've done on here is we've set it to be smooth and we want to reduce the volume of all the transients. So those bits where you might suddenly, like there might be a click or a laugh or something, the very beginning of that will be a lot softer and it just makes the whole podcast flow a bit nicer. And you'll be able to see if I play it, you'll see the sound wave, I think it will be in here, uh, going along and you'll see all the little dips and stuff happening there. So if I play it now, um, I think I'll let him introduce himself. So you've got okay, these hello, bits here. I am Yuval Bille. Uh, I'm, uh... So bits like those and those, all they're doing is they're taking the very beginning bit of the sound and they're Basically just making it quieter, make everything a lot smoother. So that is a transient shaper sorted. The exciter is actually doing nothing on here from what I can tell. Um, you can just add some drive to it and make it sound a bit warmer if you want, that kind of stuff. It's on, but I'm pretty sure it's just on because of the preset, it's not actually doing anything. And then finally, we have got two compressors. So the compressors, I think this second one, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this second one 
is basically it's got a threshold of zero decibels. So this is just acting as a limiter. So anything that tries to go above that zero decibels, it will just squish it back down and stop it from doing that. This is a compressor that's actually doing some stuff. So this one's got a threshold of minus 20, uh, attack of 51 milliseconds, release of 100, and ratio of 2.8 to 1. So these were all pretty much, I think, how they are on the preset. Um, what this is doing is stopping anything from getting too loud and anything from being too quiet. So it's just kind of squishing the sound together. Um, let's go to a different point in the podcast where there's no music playing. This is incredibly, yeah, what am I saying? This is incredibly important because, again, with the two voices on one track, one might be quiet and one might be really loud, and we need them both to be even, basically. So, tell you what, I know that at the very beginning. Let's mute the music track for now. I know that Pete's voice. And welcome everybody to episode 45 of Door Tunes. You can see there that Pete's voice is pretty quiet, and it's just hitting that 20 decibel line. It's not really. Like it's not being squashed that much. And welcome everybody to episode 45 of Door Tunes. That bit there is how much it's Obviously, squashing it. This is, uh... And then if I go to the other guy's one, he's a lot louder, and you'll see everything's... This should be moving more, and everything's being pushed down a bit more to match Pete's volume. Oops. And I just uh, finished working with the soundtrack and the audio design for Fear, which just released a few weeks ago. Mm. So there you go. That's what the compressor is doing. It's stopping stuff from basically stopping you having really loud bits and really quiet bits. It wants to try and even everything out. You can put too much compression on. Um, it's kind of obvious when you do, and everything just sounds a bit. I don't know what muddy. Maybe is the best word. But yeah, that is all the EQ done. I haven't had to remove any noise from this really, which is pretty cool. And then the only other thing to do to it is I've got the intro music. And so I've popped the intro music on here. What I did was I found the loudest bit in this track, and the loudest bit turned out to be, if we have a look on here, uh, minus 10 decibels. So what I did was I played the intro music, and I reduced the volume of that, reduced the gain of it, to make that minus 10 as well, just so it sits nicely, I know where it's gonna be, at its loudest point. And then, we've got a little gap here, I've just got some music playing, and welcome everybody to and that bit there. Door tune. That's when the voice comes in, and you want to drop the volume down. To get to that bit, if you are using Reaper and you want to know how to get to that bit, uh, you just click on this trim button here, and you make sure that volume is visible. So I've reduced it down there, and then when it gets to the end, it just goes back up. I mean, you can make it go up suddenly if you want, doesn't matter, and then it just fades out on this little bit here. And all I've done is just replicated that, if we go right to the end, done it right at the end as well, except it's the opposite way round. Where is it? Come here. There we go. Opposite way round, it starts off nice and quiet, and then when they finish talking here, that's when it gets loud, and it just sort of sees you out of the podcast. Bye! Bye! And that is pretty much it. And then the only other thing is, I'm going to save it before all my work vanishes. And then you just want to render it. So in Reaper, just go File, Render. And you can set up some presets if you want. Um, but what I want to do is I want to get the master mix. I want the entire project. The tail on the end doesn't matter too much, so I'm just going to get rid of that. The directory, I'm going to call it Export. And then this is the bit that's important. So the sample rate, 44.1, that's standard for CD. Because we've got no music, I'm going to do it in mono. Basically, that will take way less memory than stereo, and it's just nice and easy to listen to, because it's basically all voice. Um, the resample mode, just put on good, should be fine. And then the output format is the last little bit, so we're just going to change it to MP3. And this is because we only have 70 meg um, of space to upload a, upload a podcast, and with that, with a WAV file, it's lossless, so you have like massive files. MP3, a lot smaller, and then the quality is just on, well, 70 or 192. And that, anything lower than that, you can really tell, I thought to my ears, I can really tell if something's exported at too low a quality. So 192 is sort of a perfect place. And then, I'll just hit render, and it should start rendering. So you see it's in mono, and then nothing should go above there, should all be a nice volume. 
and it's all done. So yeah, right, I'll flip the camera around while that's rendering. And that's everything. Um, oh, my incredibly messy hair. That is the one downside of going on camera. But cool, uh, thanks for watching. I hope maybe you learned something or found it vaguely interesting. And awesome. Speak to you soon. Bye.